what's up guys this is my 2022 yz125x and i'm just going to be going over everything everything i've done to it um how it's running um just all the basic things so uh, yeah so starting off i bought this bike for about 7800 uh off the showroom floor and um it's a pretty good deal it's a 2022 yz125x um I had it since, yeah, like November, so that's four months or so. Um, I've run it a couple times, just haven't been able to ride it a lot because of the uh, bad weather. But, um, yeah, I've had it for about four months. Um, I can definitely tell it performs well. It has a lot of bottom end power. Um, great for hills. Really gets the job done. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a great bike overall. Um, it's reliable, definitely. Um, sweet bikes. Um, yeah, it's a great woods bike, and I totally recommend it. So I, uh, <clears throat> I run uh, Amsoil Dominator, uh, forty to one. I've switched between thirty-two to one, uh, thirty-six to one, and fifty to one. And um, I just realized that forty to one is probably the best I can run for what I ride. Um, it's not too much, not too less. It's just like right in the middle. So, um, and then I have done a transmission oil change before. Um, I'm running the AMS Oil Say 80 oil. Um, it's actually pretty good oil. It's, it's pretty smooth. Um, I can definitely feel a difference from the Yamalube. Um, so yeah, I prefer AMS Oil. I mean, obviously that's what I'm running on the bike. Um, so yeah, it, it, it performs amazing. Um, yeah, I can definitely feel a big difference between the gears and, um, the power a little bit. So everything I've done performance wise for this bike, um, essentially the controls, I got pro taper Evo bars, got these MZS tuning, uh, levers, unbreakable levers on both sides. I mean, I guess if you want to count grips, <laughs> I got the ODI lock on grips, um, Serbi saying guards, I forget the name. Um, I got a full FMF pipe, I got an FMF factory fatty, then I got an FMF power core too, not the shorty, the power core. Um, I did jet the carburetor actually. Um, I used the JD jetting kit. And uh, I can definitely feel like a performance difference. Um, the bike definitely pulls up harder. Um, so yeah, that that's why I can definitely feel. Um, I also got a, it's... It's something off-road flywheel weight. Um, I forget the name. I'll uh, leave the link in the description if you guys want. Um, but yeah, I installed that. Um, I can definitely feel a difference with that, like going up and down the hills. Um, it's a lot easier. You don't have to gas it as much. So yeah. So with this bike, um, I got obviously a full graphics kit. Um, this is Serby's front fender. I got bar balancers and the handlebars. Um, I got this nice gripper seat. Uh, this clutch cover, frame grips, um, swing arm guards. Um, what else did I do? Just, you know, some little stickers here and there. Um, I did get an hour meter mount that cost me like 30 bucks, but um, I can't figure out how to put it on. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, what I uh, do plan to do for this bike, um, I'm thinking about getting an electron carburetor, and then when it blows up, big boring it to a 140cc, or 144cc, um, that'd be pretty big difference, um, you know, maybe get some, uh, some ODI rims, black wheels, blue hubs, or maybe a reversed. Um, might update the braking and uh, get the suspension tuned. Definitely. Uh, I might get an oversized gas tank soon. Uh, it just really depends how much gas I can get. So I just have to see that. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything done to it. I think it's a pretty nice bike. I mean, I made it look nice. Um, I know I'm missing a lot of things I did to it. So um, I'll leave a, uh, like a screenshot or something at the end with everything I've done to it. But um, I think I put maybe about, I forget how much it was. Um, 
maybe two thousand dollars into this bike and um i got it for 7800 so that's yeah 9800 bucks and so here's my gas it's a 40 to 1 premix amzo dominator with uh 93 and then over here what we got uh it's all up in here it's just essential stuff and then see right here we got the amzo dominator amzo Oil synthetic uh, say 80 and then I was running this in the winter the uh, Lucas oil fuel stabilizer actually worked pretty well I know everything here is a mess I'm sorry but, um, and uh, yeah I'm just running the NGK uh, spark plugs that they recommend which are I think it's the um, the BR9 NES or the BR9 ES so yeah so for my personal opinion on this bike, um, I'm gonna go more into detail about it. Um, so just just the stock YZ125Xs, um, they run a little bit rich from factory. Obviously, you can fix that up with the Air Premix, but um, just stock, nothing done to it. They're um, they're what's it? I don't know how to describe it, but um, yeah, they're they're definitely powerful bikes. Um, I think the power band on the, on the 125X hits in at 8,000 RPMs, and then on the normal 125, it hits in at one no uh, 9,000 RPMs. So it's a little bit of a difference with the power band. Um, the 125X has a um, longer gears. It also has an 18-inch rear wheel, obviously with a kickstand. Um, it also has a bigger gas tank with uh, the fuel reserve. Uh, so yeah, that's, um, that's what it's got essentially. Um, probably the favorite thing, um, about this bike I like is, um, it's actually really light. I think it's weighs in around 207 pounds or so. Um, I mean, I know the KTMs and the Huskies weigh maybe 180 or no, uh, 198 stock, um, dry weight. So maybe they go up to like 202 to yeah somewhere around that so it's, it's not a big difference between these bikes um uh this bike itself i think it makes 35.65 horsepower and uh, i know the ktms and huskies they make 37 point like 45 um so yeah it's not it's not really a big difference uh, when you're in the woods um two horsepower <laughs> not at all so um uh, I think the Yamaha YZ does compete real well. Um, I don't think it has any disadvantages. It's just, it's not made as um, as expensive as KTM makes their bikes. Like, you, you can just tell by looking at them. You know, KTM has a nice seat. Um, it does have, what's it called? Um, their Woods bikes have TPI. Um, Yamaha still hasn't, um, introduce tpi to their two strokes yet um i expect them to do that probably about 2024 but um i know yamaha just um uh yeah they released some mount it's a it's a steering thing um and like it, it uh helps steering in like low speeds and corners it's for the mx bikes not the woods bikes but um i actually read that on facebook so um yeah i mean the the Yamaha YZ125 got a big update this year, um, so I expect Yamaha to make some more big updates in the uh, in the coming years. So yeah, I think these bikes have a lot planned for the future. They're not the bikes, the uh, the creators. Um, but yeah, I think Yamaha has a pretty bright future, um, and I think they could do some great things with their bikes, um, just with new technology. So uh, yeah. So I mostly ride woods, like I said. Um, I ride down at AOAA and um, riding anthracite, sometimes lost trails. I'm actually going to the track this weekend though. Um, obviously it's not a track bike, but um, I just wanna see what, what it can do on a track and stuff. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I mainly uh, ride stuff like woods, rocks. I mean, that's why I got the 125X, so uh, yeah. So yeah, like I said, um, I think this bike makes around 35 horsepower or so, and um, tops out maybe at like 
65, 70. Not too, too fast compared to 450s. But um, it has a great speed, uh, great acceleration, definitely. Um, it's, it's, it's quite fast for me. I don't think anyone would need anything over a 125. I mean, it could do some damage, definitely. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, the power band hits hard in. Uh, definitely a powerful bike. Um, especially with the jetting I did to it, and uh, the flywheel makes a big difference. What I do plan to do to it eventually, um, I might get some parts power coated, just make it look nice. Um, like I said, get the suspension tuned. Um, yeah, like a different gas can, and then different head um, and cylinder when it blows up. Maybe big bore it to a 144. Um, get the rear shock tuned too. Um, I don't really know what else I could do to it. Um, maybe eventually get electron carb, but I don't really know how I feel about the electron carbs because I've heard some bad reviews about them. Um, people unhappy about them. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, I do think this FMF pipe does work great. I feel maybe a little bit of a uh, difference, probably with everything I've done to this bike, maybe adds like two horsepower or so. So um, I mean the pipe, the jetting, flywheel, maybe like one and a half, two horsepower, um, more.